Hey guys, this is NCSO7, and welcome back to another tips video. I honestly was not planning on making this video, but I do think I need to get this out there as soon as I can, you know, in time to help somebody. Now, um, first thing I want you guys to keep in mind, this is not hateful. I got a lot of hate on the previous tips video I made, so please, do not take this as hate. This is just me trying to help somebody out. Now, I do want to cut straight to the chase here. So, you already read the title. So, I'm going to be doing my tips video on Monica Colin D. Now, I do want to say this right now. If Monica Colin D, if you're watching this, if you do want me to call you something else for future reference, then please just let me know because I'm pretty sure you'll see this. But if you want me to call you something else, please let me know in the in like your comment or something like that. Um, just let me know, like, hey, maybe say, call me by this other name or something like that, but I'm just gonna call you Monica Colin D throughout this video, so, yeah, just let me know if you want me to call you something else for future reference, and also, I am gonna be, I'm not, I don't wanna assume gender, but I'm not entirely sure, but I do believe you are a he, so I'm just gonna refer to you as a he, again, I'm not trying to assume gender here, but I just wanna be, I just, I'm just, not, I'm not trying to assume gender or anything, just know that, okay? Okay, let's get right into the tips video though. I've wasted enough time. So, Monica Colin D makes DDLC mods, as the name would suggest. Now, this video is gonna only really be about two things. The first thing is, your mods are very good, but there's one big glaring problem with your mods. There's a lot of grammatical errors in them. Now. And I'm not talking stuff like typos or stuff like that. I'm talking like actual incorrect sentences. Now, think about this. What's the one thing that you do when you... What's the one thing you do when you watch a DDLC mod besides staring at the waifu boobs? You read the dialogue. You read the dialogue so that way you can like understand the exchanges between the characters. So when certain sentences, sentences are grammatically incorrect, that doesn't look very good. Because, and, and now, I'm not, and I'm not saying this in the case of like, someone talking a little bit more, I don't know, I don't, I get, I, like it's one thing if, like if it was a one time error, but this seems to be a very consistent problem with your videos. They can't, they have grammatical errors that just don't make sense. So, here's what I'm gonna say. Get, you need to proofread your work. I'm not entirely sure if you do or not, but I would say that, like, you need someone to proofread your work. Because, seriously, I, I want, I, your my, DDLC mod ideas are really good, and if the writing was there, it would honestly be pretty good, but the problem is that there's a, that some sentences just sound weird, like, my life is a crap. Like, what sense does that even make? So, I would please strongly suggest that you, I don't know if you do look over your mods or not, but I would strongly suggest you look over your mods while, like, I look over my mods while I re record them, so that way I can catch anything that sounds weird and fix it. Or have someone proofread it, because, I mean, that proofreading usually works. And this is important because, again, like I said before, you read DDLC mods. This is what you mostly do. Of course, besides the whole waifu boobs thing. You read the text. So if the text is misspelled, then the video itself, then the mod itself isn't the best thing it could be. So I do want to get that out there. I would strongly suggest you to... <laughs> encourage you to fix this or try to get better at it um, and that's really all just fix it just look it over if you don't look it over or have someone proofread it simple as that but that's not the only issue I have there is one more issue that's definitely a lot more worse I guess you could say the worries about likes and subscribers. So I'm gonna be show I'm gonna show like two posts that you have made within the past week. Uh, I'll show them on screen, but I'm gonna read them out. 
Uh, first one is this. Well, I don't know why, but why is people unsubscribe and then subscribe and then unsubscribe and then subscribe to my channel? This isn't funny. And I lost three subscribers, bruh. And then the next one, um, and this is actually a few hours ago, at least when I'm recording this, but why are you guys taking likes away? It was like 450 likes, now 440? Bruh. Edit, can I get likes back? Now, it's seriously, like, really? Like, I understand that it might be a bit of an annoyance, but seriously, you're complaining? Let's talk about the first post, first of all. For, okay, I get that people may unsubscribe and then, then subscribe and then unsubscribe, and that is a little annoying, but the fact that you're addressing this just means that they won. Because all these people really, because the people who do this, all they want is a reaction out of you. That's all they want. And since, and since you're taking the bait, then they win. You are giving them power by doing this. So, there's that. Also, you're complaining that you lost three subscribers. Seriously, Michael Conti, you have like 8,000. Why are you complaining about this? And then moving over to the second post, why are you complaining about losing 10 likes on a video where you have 450 likes and 10 dislikes you lose 10 likes oh well that's life for you that's the internet for you why are you concerned about this seriously and it's like why are you so nervous about this why are you addressing this i don't want to jump to conclusions on this but it honestly does feel to me Seriously, Michael Gondi, this doesn't look great. Seriously, there are so many people that are supporting you. Seriously, the video already has a huge amount of likes. Why are you complaining that you lost some likes? And why are you complaining that you lost a few subscribers? Oh, boo-hoo, let me play the, a sad song on the world's smallest violin for you, huh? Seriously, the fact... And seriously, and then look at me. I don't complain about this stuff. Yeah, I have... You have double su the subscribers I do. I only have 4,000 subscribers, but I'm not complaining about this. So why are you? I suggest you do the same as me. Don't complain about it. This is the internet. It is not rainbows and sunshine. It is a place where people will constantly get into fights with each other. And, and, like, and people will do stuff like this. Just forget about it and appreciate what you have. Instead of constantly whining that people are doing this stuff because by addressing this you're giving them power that's the last thing you want to do so please Michael Cohen D please stop this behavior it really makes me think that you're more concerned about your the likes and the amount of likes and subscribers you have a little more than the videos again I don't want to jump to conclusions but it's like that's what it seems like based off of these posts it feels like you're way too focused on your subscribers and likes rather than the actual videos themselves. So please, Monica Conti, please take this advice. And again, I'm not trying to be hateful. Please do not take this the wrong way. Please don't. Because last time I made one, people took it the wrong way, and that was a, and it was just a full-on war zone there. So please, Monica Conti, please take the, my advice. Just fix the grammatical errors. If if you if you're not entirely sure have someone proofread it for you or look it over yourself if you don't do that already and again like if you look over it but you need more assistance again, please have someone proofread your work and also just cut the attitude with like talk, making these posts regarding subscribers and stuff like that and like losing likes and subscribers when you already have so many Please cut that attitude, because it really irritates me. And it's not good at all. Especially when I'm not doing this, yet I have half as many subscribers as you do. Please cut this attitude out. Please. But anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you were able to learn something. And check out Monica Cole and D's channel, because he does make some pretty good mods. But this video did have to be made. I can't just sit around here and let you continue to have this behavior. I need to get this out here somehow, so hopefully you were able to learn something, but anyways, 
Thanks for watching and take care.